Welcome back to Let's Play Farming Simulator 17, Episode 3. So, the sapling planter is still going on a worker. I have just changed the setting, though. I have now changed the setting to off for having to pay for the poplars again. Because we've already paid for them. So we were sort of being charged twice. That's when we're running a worker. So it should make it a lot more realistic this way, just temporarily. We'll remove that, the ratchet strap. And the current sapling crate is almost empty. I think it's about 10% full. So we need to hurry up and get the next one ready. As well as I can do. But we should get this done very quickly. The field is almost finished. Oh, don't want to take the whole trailer with us. Yeah, I did notice that these crates are very heavy. Probably a bit too heavy. Right, I think what we're going to have to do is just follow it down the field. Um, because, yeah, there we go. Great timing. Really good. It's not going to take it automatically. In fact, it, the worker has gone home. Okay. Right, so we'll load it up ourselves and get a new worker. There we go. And hopefully, if we continue, it should go, I'm hoping. Oh no, the engine's off. It even turned the engine off. Right, so that can continue. It's doing a great job keeping it really neat. Much neater than I ever could do. Nice and straight. So, yeah, we're going to have to get the next crate ready. Actually, we're only halfway. I thought we were about three quarters, but... It doesn't really take too long to do this, so we'll be done in probably five to ten minutes time. Next ratchet strap, it's removed. Now because we're playing in real time, it means that we're going to have this tractor for as long as we possibly can do. We do skip the night time, but that still means that we'll have this tractor for roughly 12 hours real time so it's definitely worth the leasing money if you were to play in times 30 or something oh we're crushing the poplars then it would be probably not a very cost effective thing to do because you'll always be renewing your leasing right this next crate is ready it does take a while for the planter to get through them. It's very efficient. I think, when we just go down here, I put the cruise control to one mile an hour. Oh, we almost lost it. There we go. And if we turn, you should see the tyres deforming. I think the front ones are probably more obvious. Yes, they deform when we turn. So here goes. We turn the corner. You can see a chevron tread. It looks really rubbery, as it should do. So that's just a close-up view of that while we wait. Obviously, we've got quite a bit of weight on here, so it's going to show it off as its best. I did notice the combines do it quite a lot as well. So for the first half of this, we've got it quite easy. We're just on load of duty. I'm going to park out of the way and just wait for it to be empty again. Yeah, the only thing is we can't see what percent it's at. That's the only disadvantage we have here. But meanwhile, I think we'll probably go into here and we'll take a look at a few things. We do need to do some animals. As soon as we can afford them, we will do them. Um, I like that it's uh, actually telling us what to sort of do here. Like, animals always need water. They also require a clean feeding area with some required straw. And the food mixture consists of 50% base food, corn, 25% grain, wheat or barley, 20% protein, canola, sunflowers or soybeans, and 5% root crops, potatoes or sugar beet. And that does change depending on the animal type. So if you're new to the game, like we all are at the moment, this should be very helpful. Be helpful for me at least. Um, 
as you probably know, I'm not too good at sort of working things out for myself. It is good to know. Right, what's happening here then? This is our maintenance for the vehicles we own. Um, yes, I suppose they are going to uh, cost quite a bit when they get older in repair, repair costs, but uh, we should be okay for the time being. So, uh, yeah, the other thing was the workshop. Now, to do the customising, I have now discovered, and thank you to everybody who also commented as well, to do the customising on site, sort of on the farm, we have to get a placeable workshop. Otherwise, we have to get a, a qualified engineer to do it for us. I believe it's actually at the store itself. If we go into the shop, we can see in the placeables, just here, we've got the vehicle workshop, £28,000. Sounds like quite a bit of money, but it's probably a good investment in the future. Obviously not straight away, but it says this workshop allows you to create a spot anywhere on the map where you can customize your machinery without the need of a paid mechanic. So in the long term, it will be cheaper and also quicker because it'll be hit. Helper E is blocked by an object. We've parked the tractor in the way. Let's get it moved. I thought it was far enough back, but no, obviously not. right into the trees. We could be doing a different job while this is happening. So I'm just checking up on our fields, we only own three, but fertilised, yes, these two we did do. And these two we did as well. Actually that gives you a very good idea of my coverage. I thought I was doing a fairly bad job, but it was just at the edge here that I missed. And this was 100%. As for here, yes, I have missed a little bit. But they are fertilised, and that is the main thing. As for the ploughing, I think, yes, every field could be ploughed, potentially. Oh, except field number 15, the one we're doing right now, because it's already been ploughed. So, every field would benefit from a plough in the future to get a much better yield for the future crops. So, yes, the ones we're doing... 12 and 14 will have to be ploughed next time. They don't have to be, I suppose, but it is worth it for the extra yield and money you do get. Right, how's it doing? What percent is it at? Let's just run over here. So this video probably won't be as long as the previous ones. They were about 52 minutes, I think. Oh yes, it's ready. About 52 minutes, but I get a lot of uh, thanks for doing a longer video, but also a lot of people say I prefer the shorter ones. And I can understand why, because if you don't have too much time on your hands in one go, it can be quite difficult to find the time to watch a 52 minute video in one go. So I think I might go with about a 45 to 40 minute video instead, just to make it a bit more, well I suppose helpful for you to watch. It seems like an odd thing to say, but... I'm just sort of reading the suggestions I've been given. Now I've reason to believe that's going to run out very soon. And then we'll be able to get the next crate ready. Will it make it to the end? Maybe it will do. It did. Impressive. It can't be very far away from being totally empty. I'm just going to stay behind to the side. It's got to be on the verge of being empty. The problem is the worker goes home. Yes, there we go. The worker goes home if it's empty. Next crate. I'll tell you something, it's worth while getting a whole load of them. When I was buying them, I thought, I'm never going to use all these. 
It's amazing how fast you consume them. Oh, it's at a funny angle. The trailer would have been better off just back a bit, where there's more space. Not really thinking when I parked it there. Just one left. And it's looking like we're going to have to get another load, amazingly. It's funny, each crate seems to last a while. But then, yeah, we're just sort of consuming them like we only had three or something, but we had a full trailer. We just have to hope there is enough. It could be spot on, looking at it. But, yep, let's just wait here for it to be empty again. I'm not liking the look of our bank balance. I think we're going to have to sell another trailer of grain. Okay, so I've been sat there for about five minutes and it is actually looking very promising. I think we're going to have just about more than enough, if that makes sense. There is going to be, I would say, about 25 to 50% left in the final crate, if my calculations are correct. If all goes to plan, that would be brilliant because it means we don't have to spend any more money. But this crate is almost empty, so we'll be transferring it to this one very soon. I think it's roughly 20% remaining. So it should have enough space to turn, it, yeah, it should be able to turn around before it's empty. So just back up here. There is a puddle there. Just down there. It must have rained. I'm really looking forward to doing the soybean harvest because they are worth a lot of money. We need something to produce a lot of money. The soybeans seem to be the thing, so if all goes to plan, they'll be ready very soon. Uh, let's just have a look here. Soybeans, this one here, yeah, look at the prices. They're actually down a bit at the moment, but they're still very good. Like just here, Gomez Ridge Acres. One hundred no, one thousand three hundred and fourteen pounds per one thousand liters. I think, I think. Right, that's empty. It stopped unexpectedly. Continue. So some of you might be thinking this is crazy. You're just spending way too much money on the workers. I am spending quite a bit, more than I would like, however, I know that when we come to harvest this, if they're perfectly straight rows, then it will be a lot easier. And you can see how straight it's doing it. There is the odd bit where it goes off, but on the whole, way better than my efforts, which were these ones here. There's one of mine, just there. It's all wavy. So it is worth it. It's some occasions it is just worth spending a bit more money. Wow, we've already put over an hour on this tractor. It feels like about 10 minutes I've been driving it. Anyway, yes, we need to uh, move on to the final crate just here. So, the final pallet. I think if you go in at the right angle with the pallet forks, it is a lot easier than previous versions. Obviously that was a really bad example because I went in like diagonally. So I'll try again. See how easy it is to do. Kind of mess it up. This should go in a lot better. Yeah, that is easier. Far better. So, it's probably got, I don't know, it could probably go down and up again before it's empty. And then we'll finish off with this crate here. But yes, we have got enough, without a doubt. Okay, so, it's getting on very well. This is the final row. And basically, the crate which is on currently is about to empty. It must have about 2% in it or something. So I'm just preparing to refill. It'll probably just put it into the ground and then it'll be done. And the worker will go home. 
Anything? Yeah, it's still got a bit in it. Great timing, though. Yes, it's very unlikely going to get up to the top. How is it holding on so much? There we go. So the worker will just take it up to the top and it will finish. Meanwhile, we need to drop off the rear weight and we need to tow the trailer, the bale trailer, back to the yard just over here. Now when this farm, if this farm, ever becomes established, we need to leave a bit of space around here for the extra buildings. So there'll probably be a building here, on this grassy area, and probably over here as well. We might be able to put some buildings on the concrete pad, this area here, but I'm not too sure. We're going to now get the trailer, the bale trailer first, and then secondly, the grain trailer. Because selling some grain is a bit of a necessity. So I'll take that off first of all. Could have lowered it first, it would have been better. And the pallet forks, they can be removed. And let's go over there. Get that trailer. So I mustn't forget they are actually rented. We don't want to be paying again for everything. But like I say, it's going to be about 12 hours, so it's nothing to worry about for the next few episodes. Now I was thinking it might be worthwhile doing a bit more contracting, hopefully doing a different job. We've done the fertilising, we've done some combine harvesting, it would be nice to do something different. I'll just put the front loader up a bit. So this can stay over here. Actually, if we can do the contracting instead of selling the grain, then that would probably be better, as we can sell the grain at a, a better price. But we'll just have to see, really. Right, final tractor. What's it doing? There was never space for it to come back down again. Hmm. Very strange. Well, we'll soon find out. Hmm. What is it doing? Is that a double row? It is. Stop. You're sacked. You terrible worker. We'll take this over here. Yeah, the case tractor, as far as I'm aware, is more powerful than the New Holland tractor we have. I think the New Holland is 125 horsepower, and the case is 145. So that is the reason why I used the case for the ploughing the other day. The extra horsepower. So that's that done. Um, also, this tractor, I think we're done with that for today. We now need to get into our pickup. Wherever I put it now, it's over here, somewhere. Yes, just over here. And what we really need to do is just find a good field to contract with a decent job, a decent pay. The pay actually seems to be very good. Yeah, forget the idea of selling grain today. There is no point at all. Now I wonder if you have to fertilise the poplars. I wouldn't have thought you would have to, but I might be wrong. You might have to. There is actually a machinery shed just there. I don't know how I haven't really mentioned it before. I have seen it, but yes, if we do need to put the machinery anywhere else, because it is a bit full here, I think that would be the best place to take it to. Now, there are a number of fields up here, so there's bound to be something good. Oh, by the way, I know that some people have been complaining about my driving in this thing. The reason for it is because it goes quite fast, and also there's a 10% offset on currently. I do need to turn the offset off on the steering wheel. So, 
making minor adjustments is quite difficult. There is a field here, but I would have thought the only thing we can do here is to harvest it. Yes, I think we can do without the harvesting just for the time being. We've done quite a bit. What about this one here? I mustn't put the vehicle too close. Ah, here we go. It is fertilizing, but it's a different style of fertilizing. So this could be quite interesting, although the pay isn't amazingly good. It's only a quick job. So actually, it is amazingly good in real life, but for FS, it's not the best. So it says um, that we'll require nine minutes and 51 seconds for this. Let's go. The Sammy Fortis is the tractor required for this job. It is only a very quick job. The Joskin slurry, um, slurry thing, slurry spreader. It's got, I think, are these the dribblers? I believe I was corrected in one of my fact sheet videos. Um, but we're on a time limit here, so we need to be fast. Yeah, is this an, this isn't an injector, is it? It's like a dribbler. That's what's good about the contracting. You can use all the bigger machinery without actually having to buy it. You can do different jobs for the people. And one thing which is really good is that the farms around us who own these fields, they take care of them in every way possible and the fields won't wither as such. They will be harvested. They won't just stay as the crop they were when we started the game. The crops will change. So that is obviously very nice because when the fields all wither, it's not very, well, it's a bit disappointing to see. Almost a quarter of the way. A bit of water here. I must stay on track. And I need to turn the dead zone off because it is making it very hard to do this. Yes, if you look at my track, it's like a drunk person has done it. I think it's going to take three passes of the field. So the left side, the middle and then the right side. The Modulo 2. That's what this is. Almost halfway there. We need to get a good time bonus. The time bonus actually seems to be where most of the money is. If you do a decent job in a quick, in a small amount of time, then it's just really good. You get loads of money for it. final row and we'll be done we'll be able to collect our time bonus five minutes and 45 seconds left come on we've got to do it before five minutes we have 41 seconds to get to the far end it doesn't sound very likely this even has a beacon on the back. Yes, I think that was a bit optimistic. We have 22 seconds to go more than half the field. Yes, I don't think so. Maybe before four and a half seconds. That would be okay.
just don't want to miss anything. Now it is possible we won't have to get to the far end before it accepts it. As I've said before, there is a leeway. Yes, like that. You might be able to adjust it, I'm not too sure. The time bonus was quite impressive. £3,834 with a reward, a base reward, of £4,339. That is quite good. Well, it's very good for the time it took. Less than 10 minutes. My truck. Let's find another job. At these wages, we could go all day. I wonder what the sunflowers require. I think nearly every field does require something. I was sort of messing up in the first episode because I parked the pickup in the way and, yeah, not really thinking. Uh, okay, more fertiliser spreading. Quite a fun job, it's just we've done it already. Trying to find some new stuff to do. You'll have to do your own work here, I'm afraid. We'll find a new field. Right, so where are we? Yes, over there. We will go to... At least we'll try field number eight and then number seven. We'll see what there is. Yes. Oh, was it just down there? We can maybe get to it from here. Yes, I think if we turn left here then we get to the same place. Here we are. Anything good? It's a bit empty. Could be seeding. No, it is... Yes, yeah, slurry spreading again. More fertilising. So this is an even shorter job, but we get to use the T5. I'm going to go with it. We seem to sort of go through phases of using the same equipment. I probably shouldn't have parked quite so close. That was a bit crazy. This is the Garant. Sorry, spreader. So, you would have thought this would take longer, really. It looks like a bigger field. But it can't be. I think this is the first time I've actually looked at the T5 in depth. It's the T5 100. We don't actually have to turn it off at the end, but we will do for realism. It's actually unlimited. My phone is making noises because it reckons we've done 40 minutes, but no, we haven't. It's just like a guide. I have to take quite a bit of the video out when I'm doing things like the sapling planting because otherwise we would just be sat there not really doing much we'll certainly get this job done if we can get it done really quickly then again we should get a very good bonus I have really put the pickup in the way yes that's messed everything up oh well The first two are fairly straight. I've just messed up now. About one third of the way. There might be a bit of overlap. So far, so good. Almost halfway in just two and a half minutes or so. That's two thirds. Just over five minutes remaining. I think it would be quite hard to actually run out of time. It's good that they give you that amount of time, but it's not required. I'm guessing it's just a way of calculating your bonus. I wonder if there actually is a job which is so hard that you could very easily fail it or if they're all very similar to this I'm not too sure it would have been interesting to do the beet harvesting I did actually go to a beet harvesting one two days ago
but I wasn't doing the Let's Play at the time. I was just sort of browsing things. So, yes, I, I should have taken it, really. It would have been interesting. Okay, that's four and a half minutes left. We're almost done. Will it take this as the finished product, or will we have to go back down again? Realistically, we should have to finish the whole field. Um, yes, I think it's going to make us. Oh no, we don't have to. So, we have just got a reward of £3,768 with a time bonus of £3,304. Again, very good. And finally, our bank balance is looking a bit better. This pickup is very smoky and I think it requires some looking at. Quite concerning, really. I'm going to go back to the yard. We need to check up on things and we're not too far away. It's just down here. Having the yard fairly central in the map is handy. We can get to most of the fields very easily. I'm already learning the map quite well. Quicker than I usually do. Look at me, not even using a sat nav. We're all proud of you. Yes. So here we are back at the farm and I will just check how long I've been recording for. I don't want to overrun too much, I also don't want it to be too short. Very short videos are boring. Yeah, we've still got a bit of time, so what we're going to do is go back onto here again. And I do want to look at the fertilising map once again, because field number 15 is showing up as unfertilised. Do we spray poplars? I am not too sure. Um, I suppose it would make sense. But, yeah, I don't know. We might have to. Let's just go onto here. Farming basics, we need to go to, yeah, we need to go to uh, the bit where it says poplars, planting trees. Yeah, does it say? I suppose because you're harvesting it with a forage harvester, you you would do. You, you would have, uh, well, the crop is low enough to, to spray, but I, I don't know. This is a tricky situation to be in. Lack of knowledge is the problem. I think just to see what happens, I will spray it. But I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to. It, it kind of seems like a weird thing to do. Can we refill? This one over here. You can refill. I think it's 125 horsepower. Yes. Right. So I'm just going to go over to the field, spray a little bit, then check up on it on the map and see what it's actually showing. But I don't know if it's going to adjust the yield or not. Row crop tyres might be quite handy here. What's it doing? It's changing the soil colour. Definitely changing the colour. I can't see why we shouldn't spray. Having the rose is actually very helpful for staying on track. So it's every three, roughly. Every three rows. This is one of my speciality ones, one of my uh, wonky lines. I'm going to take a look and see what this looks like from the map. But it's looking okay. Yeah, that seems to be all registering as it should be. So I'm going to finish the job. We'll do a full job here and it won't actually take 
many more passes of the field. It's like five or something. And we should get a really profitable field. The issue is getting the equipment to harvest this. We need a forage harvester, which will have to be rented. We'll also need the header for it and yeah probably a better trailer but otherwise I think that's everything if we just keep doing some good contracting jobs we'll have plenty of money available but the sooner we can do the animals as well the better the pigs especially I think we should probably lower the boom a bit Perfect fit. It's amazing how quick it is to use the sprayer. So again, I think really this episode we have progressed quite well. We have been into debt and now we're quite a long way out of debt, which is all good. We've also managed to plant a field of poplars, ready for the future. But not too far in the future, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it won't be too long until we can harvest the soybeans as they seem to be very profitable. They're on, I believe, growth stage two, I think. This is them just here. Um, as I haven't ever seen them growing in my life before, in real life, I don't know what they look like exactly. I'm guessing they sort of die off, go brown colour, but I'm not sure. But they look to be, yeah, about growth stage two or three. They've probably got about two stages left. We can check up on this on the map as well. If we go on here. Yes, for number 14. Oh, it's actually almost ready. Very close. So, yeah, it's not going to be too long. Maybe even next time we'll be able to do this. We are playing in real time though, so it is going to be a bit slower. And uh, we didn't actually do the whole of... Field 12. So I might put a strip of maize in there, just as a game strip or something like that. Or maybe a cover crop. Not really decided. But as for this episode, we're going to leave it there. I'm hoping you've enjoyed it, and we will return very soon for episode 4. When things start to progress like this, it's always more exciting. And yes, we should get these poplars done within the next week. This done hopefully within the next two episodes. That'd be good. And the field over there as well. Likewise, should be done very soon. So until the next one, thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you again very soon in the next episode. Bye for now.